Well, a very, very warm welcome on a very, very hot day to Nathan Baxter. 18 years old, goalkeeper, you're coming on loan from Chelsea, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us um, what the details of the loan are, how long you're coming for? Um, yeah, for the year. For the full season? Yeah, I, th I think it's important when you come to a club, you, you fully commit to it. And, um, you know, I want to show people that I can put together a full season of consistent National League performance under my belt. Enjoyed my time at Solihull for half the season last year um, and now I want to show that I can do it for the whole season and um, it's a really exciting club to be at and I want to hope, hope that we finish as high as possible and be here for the whole time. Really. And do you know if Chelsea are able to call you back at all? Um, I, I think that's the possibility but the, that's not the plan. The plan no. is for no, obviously, no. hopefully everything to go well and us to finish as high as possible and, and for me to be a, a part of that. So I think the, the, the plan for both me and obviously Chelsea and Woking is for me to be here for the whole, the whole season. Yeah, I, all I meant by that was sometimes there are what they call recall clauses written into loan deals and if Courtois gets badly hurt they might suddenly decide they need you back after all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know about that, but no, okay. it's um, obviously I, I want to be playing football. Sure. That, that's why I wanted to come out and, and, and play here. and. You know, obviously, I, I could go places and sit on the bench, but it's, it's about getting experience, I think, for a young player, and Absolutely. You know, hopefully I'll get that here. Brilliant. Now, you, you went to school in Croydon, so I presume that you live not far from there, so you're, you're relatively local to uh, a club in Surrey. Yeah, I'm living five miles on the ground, so obviously I've, I've been close to, in digs to Chelsea, and um, obviously it's a, it was a factor in me coming here because of, of how much I can commit. Um, but you know, it's, it's it's more about the, the the size of the club and the manager and stuff. But it's it's nice that I'm local. I know a lot of people that are Chelsea fans and Woking fans. You know, that combine the two. Sure. Um, so you know, I know how big a club it is in the area. So it's um yeah, it's obviously the the distance is is, is good for me. Like I'm a local lad. So yeah. yeah. Um, now Chelsea, of course, are world famous for having the highest number of players out on loan in the history of football. I think. But I, from what I've read, and you can confirm if this is true or not, you actually asked to uh, go out on loan rather than Chelsea saying to you, we think it would be good for you. I think it was a bit of both, really. Right. Um, I think it was spending time with more, more people that have just said, go and get experience under your belt. And obviously, being at Chelsea, it's, it's unlikely you're going to go straight into the first team. Um, unless you're like a, a real exception, maybe a striker or something, but definitely as a goalkeeper, mm. um, you want to go and show people that you can can get experience under your belt and, and learn and play play men's football. Um, and you know, last season going out alone was was great experience for me, and I learned a lot in both my loans, especially at the end of the year. Yeah. So um, you know, I've, I've learned so much, and hopefully, I want to take that now into to this move and hopefully keep progressing. And what did you find in your time at Solihull with the big differences between a, uh, Premier Academy football and National League men's football? Obviously the, the pressure of playing for points and being a part of a relegation battle, which was a, a good experience for someone my age. Obviously I've, I've grown up playing for a team which is always on top um, and it was good to be on the other side of that and to, to, play, to play in front of fans and to um, to learn how to play different styles of football, whether you've got to play more long ball, the physicality of the crossing, it was all stuff which I really wanted to experience and yeah. it, was, it was really good too. Brilliant. Um, yes, I, I, something else I read was that one of the, those were the reasons where you were very keen on going on loan because playing the Chelsea way, you barely ever get to kick the ball, for example, and uh, the, the physical challenges would not be quite as intense, shall we say. Yeah, obviously, also, being able to show what you can do because you play for such a good team um, and you know you have a lot less saves than yeah. if, you, if you're put under pressure and you're making a lot of saves so yeah, good it's point. good to experience both and obviously the crossing and the physicality yes. coming up against some of the strikers last year in the National League is a bit different too. Yeah. but it's you know it's good to have both it's good to know that I've played that level and, and now hopefully coming here and playing that um, that different style of football can, can only help me I think yeah so, as we said, you're, you're only 18. Are you going to be comfortable bossing around grizzled veteran centre-backs and defenders and getting them out of your way and so on? You have to be, I think. Um, yeah. It's important to show that, as a goalkeeper, the players, the manager, the fans, they want someone who's confident, solid, consistent, 
and you've got to show that your age isn't isn't a factor and that you can be as commanding. And obviously, you know, I've learnt a lot last year and, and had to do that already for a season now. And um, you know, building on that and becoming even more commanding um, and, and showing people that your age and, and stuff like that isn't irrelevant. And are, are you a very vocal keeper? Yeah, I like to be. Good. Um, I think it's really important that you, yes. you organise your defence and I think sometimes a good goalkeeper doesn't have to make as many saves because he organises well. So I think that's what obviously I, I try and do as much as I can. Do you believe in having a defender on the post? Yes, I do. That great debate that goes on in football. You do, good. Yeah. Um, can we talk about the FA Youth Cup? Because you, you've experienced considerable success in your, albeit brief, careers so far already, haven't you? Yeah, it was a great experience being a part of the Youth Cup team. Obviously, you've seen what Tammy and um, Fakaya and some of the others have, have gone on to do. So yeah. it's, um, it was a great experience. And playing at that time, it was the first time I'd played under proper pressure. And, um, you know, it was, it was a nice experience to play on TV, win, get that winning mentality, which they, they breed into at Chelsea. Um, and then building on that to, to then go into to non-league football, I think, it was different, but the same kind of pressures yeah. um, helped me definitely. Yes, good. And um, lastly, what do you do outside football? Are you, are you interested in other sports? Are you a golfer? Do you do anything else? No, I do. no. Just love football, really. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, obviously, I just try and watch as much football as I can. And um, do, you, are, do you watch other games on Sky or whatever as a fan, or because you're sitting there taking notes about what goalkeepers do? A bit of both really, obviously, yeah. obviously you just enjoy it, but I like matches of the day because you see more yeah. of the goalkeepers. Yeah, yeah. Um, and even before I went to non-league, I used to go and watch uh, games on the Saturday after after my game, under-18 game in the morning just because yeah. I enjoyed watching it. And I think this level of football is really, really interesting to watch like in terms of different tactics and stuff. So yeah, I, I just like football really. Great. And um, very finally, I'm not trying to put you on the spot in any way, shape or form, but would you happen to know the identity of one of Woking's biggest fans. There's Jeff a bit Jackal. of a clue. There's a bit of a clue in the fact that you're a goalkeeper. No. No, you don't know. Robert Green. Oh, was really? Born and brought up in Woking, and every interview you ever see where the subject comes up, he will tell people that he, to this day, is a fanatical Woking supporter. Well, every, everyone who knows me will know that's the goalkeeper I looked up to as a kid. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. when I was. Yeah, he was, he's, the, he's the one, him and Czech, so that's right. really interesting, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his big hero is uh, uh, the, world, the goalkeeper that used to play for Jeff Chappell when Jeff was the manager, whose name's Lawrence Batty, and he remains he coach, yeah. Robert Green's great hero in Lawrence, football. Lawrence Batty used to be at Chelsea originally, right. so he used yeah. to be a coach. When I, um. I think he, was, he did my, one of my first sessions along with Bill Thompson right. yeah, at Chelsea. There you go. Anyway. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon in this terribly hot day. Uh, we wish you every success in your loan period and uh, I don't know if you have targets like strikers do, but how many clean sheets do you think you might get during the season? I'm not going to ask you that and put you on the spot, but we hope it's loads. Okay. Thanks very much Nathan and welcome to Welcome. Cheers, thank you.